Hello, I'm going to show you the charting features in Advanced Cymatic Trader for Betfair. We've got um, uh, two ways to open a chart. Supposing we want to open a chart for Castle Guest, the, the top row here, this, this runner uh, in this horse race, we can either click this button, which brings up a Betfair type of chart, price volume, you're probably familiar with that from the Betfair website, it's automatically refreshing here in the Cymatic app, um, or we can click the button here which is the advanced charts um, and that's what we're going to discuss in this video. So let's close the Betfair chart and have a look at the advanced charts. Now you've got price represented here at the top as a candlestick and volume represented below here in blue. I can change between line, candlestick and bar. I'm going to leave it on candlestick for this video. Uh, these four buttons here enable us to zoom. So we can zoom in and we can zoom out and we can reset the zoom back to the default. The button here if I click it, it becomes highlighted and then it, it then enables me to use the mouse to select some data on the chart that I'm particularly interested in and it will then zoom to that area. Let's reset it back to standard. The time frame option, we've got 12 time frames to choose from, 5 seconds, 10 seconds, etc. Let's leave it on 10 seconds. All these other buttons here are for drawing on the chart. Horizontal line, vertical line, trend line, that's probably the most important one. A freehand drawing tool, a bit like drawing with a pencil. Um, an arrow, you, you can highlight highs and lows or whatever. Um, you can type text on the chart. You can use a caption and type text in that. You can use a rectangle, which might be useful for highlighting a range of price. It, you know, if price is stuck in a range. Um, and you've got an ellipse. Now, you've got a magnet button, which is for making these drawing objects stick to a high or a low on the chart. So it's very useful if you want to draw a trend line and you want to easily draw it, let's just turn the auto scroll off which is that button on the end so the chart doesn't keep moving whilst we're trying to draw. Uh, it, if you want to draw a trend line with, with no magnet you've got to try and find the point you want to stick it on, find the next point, release the mouse and hopefully you've got it in the right position. But it's a lot easier if you've got the magnet turned on. So let's turn the magnet on, you can see it's highlighted, we'll draw a trend line, so let's click the trend line button. The mouse has turned into a, a cross or a target shape, Now, so that means it's ready to draw. Now when I draw the line by clicking once, moving the mouse and dropping the line by releasing the mouse, you can see that the grip here, this little square, found the low on this candle on its own. I didn't have to drop it right onto it perfectly. And we can move the grips around and as you as you move it, it finds the data points, the highs and the lows. It's finding the lows because I'm underneath the data. If I'm above the data, it finds the highs. To delete the line when you don't want it anymore, make sure you've highlighted it. You've got these grips highlighted. If, if you haven't highlighted it, by clicking on the chart, just click it once, it highlights it, and then you can delete it by hitting the delete. You've got a lot of indicators to choose from. You've got 31 financial indicators that you can insert on the chart, moving averages, Bollinger's and envelopes in the range section. In the oscillator section you've got some favorites there that uh, people have used a lot in the financial world. Moving average, convergence, divergence, commonly known as MACD. Uh, you've got RSI or relative strength index. Let's just put that on. And it pops up in a separate chart area at the bottom. You can see the yellow areas shaded at the top and the bottom are the over bought and oversold areas for the RSI. Going back to the list of indicators we've got the volume based indicators and we've got more simple ways to look at price. 
the price indicators so the median price will pop up you can just see it there as an orange line we probably need to change the color of that um, so it's showing you the median price rather than all the data that's in these candles so it's a simpler way to look at price if you want to change something about the indicators once you've put them on like the period of the RSI or the period of the moving average or the color of the moving average or whatever go back to the indicator menu click edit up pops a list of the indicators that you've got on the chart and you can delete them or you can click them to edit them I'll change the period of the RSI to 10 and I'll change its color from blue to I can either type in the word green and it finds it for me or I can click the button and choose the color from a list of palette colors select OK and you'll notice that it's changed to 10 in the list the legend item has changed to 10 the period has changed to 10 and the RSI has changed to the color I chose uh, you can save your layouts in the file layout save section and you can load a layout in the same manner uh, you can choose a file name when you're doing that so you can save as many layouts as you like and um, and that's pretty much it so thanks for watching and bye for now